The word Copt is an English word taken from the Arabic word Gypt, which literally means Egyptian. However, in contemporary usage, Coptic refers to Egyptian Christians. Today, Copts form almost 13 to 15 percent of Egypt's population, even though they are not ethnically distinct from other Egyptians as they are fully integrated into the body of the modern Egyptian nation. In 451 CE, Anatolius, the Patriarch of Constantinople, convened the Council of Chalcedon in an attempt to settle theological controversy about the nature of Jesus Christ. The Council affirmed that Jesus was both fully human and fully divine, two natures united in one person. However, not all agreed, with the Oriental Orthodox bishops believing instead that Jesus is of one nature, one nature consisting of humanity and divinity. The difference may seem slight, but this was enough to trigger the first major schism within Christianity and the result was the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria, the largest Christian church in Egypt and Northern Africa. However, even before Chalcedon, Christianity in Egypt had taken a very distinctive form and dated back to a time shortly after the death of Christ. Although, the Coptic cross does actually appear to predate Christ's coming, and there are those who speculate that there were Egyptian Christians almost 500 years before. They used the local language of Coptic instead of Greek or Latin and adopted practices of desert monasticism. The history of the Coptic church is basically the history of Christianity in Egypt. Copts relate that the blessing of Christianity on their country goes back to the days when Jesus was a young boy, when the family of three moved to Egypt to escape the King Herod, who wanted them dead. The head of the Coptic church is the Pope of Alexandria, believed to be a successor to the Apostle Mark, who founded the first church of Egypt approximately in the year 42 AD. While monasticism is widespread in religious tradition, Christian monastic practices are widely held with the communities and individuals who isolate themselves from worldly life in the Egyptian deserts and inspired the spirituality of the Coptic Church. Copts use a liturgical calendar based on ancient Egyptian traditions, consisting of 13 months and 3 seasons, which are inundation, sowing, and harvest. The writings of the Desert Fathers, especially their sermons, are highly influential for Coptic Christian spirituality. In particular, and in following the footsteps of St. Anthony, the tradition of hesychasm, from the Greek word for stillness, is of the utmost importance. In the hesychastic tradition, Coptics emphasize practices of withdrawal and abstention, sometimes to complete isolation and silence, to enable believers to devote themselves fully to a life of prayer and contemplation. Today, there are over 9 million Copts in Egypt, as well as an additional 1.2 million immigrant Copts who practice their faith around the world.